Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, I want to show you a couple things in the Bible that relate directly to this total solar eclipse. Now, one thing, there's all kinds of reports out. We want people to be safe during this total solar eclipse of the sun. Uh, and you need to check, make sure you have the right eye uh, wear. You cannot be looking straight into a solar eclipse with the naked eye. You could burn out the retinas in your eye. Matter of fact, sunglasses won't work. Sunglasses will not protect your eyes. You'll need those special glasses for viewing an eclipse. But I want to share a couple verses in the Bible for you on eclipse. Now, you guys have heard me quote Amos 8, 9. We know that there's solar eclipses are used as signs. Jonah on the first day of Elu. The first day of the 40 days of repentance went into Nineveh preaching that God was going to destroy the city in 40 days. And on that very same day was a solar eclipse. Now, this total solar eclipse that's going to happen on August 21st is also on the first day of Elu, just like it was in the days of Jonah and Nineveh. And again, I'm preaching repentance for America as the 40 days of repentance begins. We will have a total solar eclipse across this country. But will we repent? Uh, Let me read to you what it says in the book of Joel, chapter 2. It says this in verse 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call Upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. And then if you stay in Joel, go to the next chapter, Joel 3. Another reference to a eclipse. Here's what it says, and this is amazing, because you have to understand, as this total solar eclipse goes across America, it's a 70 mile wide valley and i'm going to call it the valley of decision it's 70 miles wide from the coast of oregon to the coast of south carolina matter of fact 14 different states will be in its direct path they are oregon idaho wyoming and montana nebraska and iowa kansas and missouri illinois and kentucky tennessee Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Now, as this valley goes, it also is the exact line in which the United States was divided during the Civil War between the North and the South. And we couldn't be a more divided nation today than we've ever been by evident of the last few days, the events taking place around Civil War monuments. And while all of this is going on, there's a word in the Bible that may pertain also at the exact time when the eclipse begins on the coast of Oregon, it will go through a little town called Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon was named after Jerusalem, Salem, Jerusalem. At the same time that this eclipse begins in Oregon, the sun will set in Jerusalem. Just wanted to say that. Now, here's what the scripture says in in the book of Joel chapter 3. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. I'm in verse 14. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall quake excuse me shall shake but the lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of his children of israel now at the time that the sun is setting in Jerusalem and it's turning dark in america it'll be turning dark in the midday and this is something so rare so rare that it'll be darkness across the land the valley of decision. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are living in the last days. 
all throughout the Bible. The references of the sun being darkened and the moon turning blood red and the stars being shaken like a fig tree cast its untimely fig. And then, by the way, there are four storms in the Atlantic right now. And one of them is Hurricane Gert along the East Coast. But there's three more that are coming off the coast of Africa headed in the direction of the United States. And it is possible that on the same day of the solar eclipse, we may have a hurricane coming ashore in the United States, a collision course with destiny. Are you serious? Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. We are living in the last days. And here's a scripture for you. It's called Luke 21, 25. For there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring a collision course. Are you saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern. We'll look at these, this and a whole lot more, all the events around the world. We're running, folks. We are seriously, listen to me, we are running out of time.